Excuse me, I simply had to come over here and tell you that that dress is simply divine. I must know who your tailor is. Oh no, please, you don't need to do that. I've been through the pleasantries all day. Now we're meant to have a good time. Just relax. Uh, your majesty is a bit formal, don't you think? Oh, my dress. Do you like it? My handmaiden picked it out for me. I let her choose her favorite. I figured she could have it after tonight. Oh, well, it's not so much generosity. It's more that she'd be doing me a favor. I think if I have to stuff my wardrobe with one more dress, I'll go mad. Not that it isn't a beautiful garment. And I do appreciate it. Hmm. You know, I spend a lot of time Getting to know the lords and ladies of the court. But I don't believe we've met. No, I don't think so. I most assuredly would have remembered your face. Should I have ever had the privilege to look upon it. Who is your escort? Ah, I see. Very well. I do not mean to pry, or far be it, interrogate. I just simply like to get to know as many of the court as possible. Since most dealings with the kingdom does go through them one way or another. Be them merchants, or shop owners trade partners, manufacturers, and the list goes on. Though, between you and me, I don't think they're all nearly as elevated in importance as their egos make them out to be. Some, perhaps, should not even be members. Ah, oh, that must make me sound quite terrible. If you're new to the politics of the court, I could understand being so put off. Unfortunately, over time, the entire matter of the court has become nothing but optics. Bread and circuses, my dear. They all gather to spend exorbitant Amounts of wealth and lavish parties just for the chance to be seen, so that they might be imagined important by others who also are only pretending to be so. I cannot help but think it has become rather a waste. The kingdom and the people within it have far greater needs and deserve far more than languishing in the fields. One night of this pompous display could be put to far greater use, I feel. Ah, uh, so you do agree with me. Fantastic. I'll need allies like you when I take the crown. Yes, our words often fall on deaf ears. And so we must become the loudest voice as to not be drowned out or ignored. There will come a time when I will very greatly appreciate if you were to lend your voice to me as well. 
What would you say to a dance? With me, yes. Please do not feel it a command. Though I admit, if you say no, there won't be enough wine in this castle to mend my broken heart. Such a beautiful and articulate woman does not grace these halls as often as one would wish. Oh yes, people will stare, and they will talk, but they should do so anyway. We might as well give them something they'll remember. Though I assure you, for the next few minutes you'd find them rather speechless. And without a word, we'd become the loudest voice in the room. Shall we, my lady? You are an excellent dancer. Surprised? Not entirely. But pleased, very much so. Ah, oh, yes. I told you, didn't I? They're all captivated. Jealous? Perhaps. I know I would be. Anyone in this hall would be daft to not wish to take my place at this very moment. If you like, after I could show you the garden. They're quite lovely in the moonlight. Oh, I would say it's become very late. But not to worry, these parties last well into the morning. What? Uh, what is it? What's wrong? You must leave. No. Is everything all right? I apologize if I... Wait, 